Hi, Melissa. My name is Paul. I'm with East Wind SEO, and I have partnered up with Schenectady SEO to bring you this short video showing you how to improve or showing you some tips on how to improve your online presence. Uh, you spoke with Nathan the other day about this video. So in this video, I'm just going to go over some uh, tips, three tips that are important to driving traffic to your website and improving your overall online presence. And those are going to be um, citations, content, and backlinks. We're going to start with content. I'm going to look at your website real quick right here. I have it pulled up. Uh, very nice looking website. Nice logo right up here. Um, you do have your click to call button. <clears throat> really nice pictures it looks like you've got going on. You do have a form fill out here. The type of uh, property you're looking for, which is excellent. So a lot of uh, really nice pictures. You do have some content, which is great. So it's a well uh, put together site, it looks like. I would always recommend uh, maybe a contact form up here or like a chat bubble that uh, somebody can click on and maybe go straight to either a text message or a messenger or email or something like that. It's just another way to convert uh, traffic that comes to you know, visit your website. And the, the more ways you have to convert traffic uh, the better it's going to be. Um, just my suggestion, but I will say on content, you are lacking content. Um, I'll tell you the importance of content. Google loves content. Um, we always recommend at least 1,500 words of content because Google loves to crawl that content. And they're going to go through that content and they're going to look for um, specific keywords within that content. And that's going to tell them a lot about what you do, um, the kind of business you provide where you provide it you know all your services and all that and it's going to help them determine where they're going to place you you know on in google uh in the results on google searches it's also going to help um you guys show up more on google searches as people search for those specific keywords and a, a keyword is going to be anything uh that somebody's going to put into google as they search for a product or a service or anything like that so look for those buyer intent keywords so next, we are going to go to a <clears throat> a Google search I did. Nothing, uh, nothing real specific, because um, this is just for example purposes. Um, I did a very broad area. Obviously, real estate broker in New York would be an example of a keyword. Um, obviously, if you're you know looking to target a certain area, you would want to look for keywords that are more specific to the area that you're trying to serve. So, first thing you're going to see pop up ads. Um, ads are a great way to get clients. You can get some really good results by running, uh, you know, some nice ad campaigns because they allow you to target a certain audience. So you can get yourself in front of, you know, the audience that you want to get in front of, the people that you're trying to target. You can see some really good results from that. So moving on down, this is the top three of the local map pack on Google. Um, the top three is definitely a place you want to be um these guys see a really they get a good chunk of traffic that they that come through to them just from being in this top three and that is going to be your google business profile to, to get up in that top three you want to have your google business profile filled out as much and as accurately as possible with all of your uh, business information um, you know get it optimized for seo um, and then go out and get it into online directories. And those are going to be anything like Yelp, uh, Yellow Pages, even Facebook. You know, there's hundreds of online directories to put your business information into to get citations back from them. And that's the goal that we're going after. We're trying, we want citations from those online directories. So basically, you want to have more citations um, than your competitors that are showing up in this top three. So moving on from that, we have the organic search results. Uh, you see some, uh, you know, mix of stuff. It looks like you look like you got some online directories here and some how, you know, how to become a New York real estate broker. Nothing too concerning. Um, those aren't things that we need to worry about. We really want to worry about direct competition. So let's say that this guy was, you know, a direct competitor of yours. So you would obviously want to overtake him uh, in in the Google search results. So if we take a look at a tool that I use. Um, this is called AREFs and it's just a tool that helps me uh, you know, look at a website and see how it's performing and all that. Uh, we want to pay attention to this UR and DR number right here, this whole section right up here also. 
So a UR and DR is going to be a trust and a power rating in Google's eyes. UR being a trust rating or how trustworthy your website is according to Google. Um, the DR is going to be a power rating or how much power is being pushed to your website. Um, generally, you want these two numbers to stay within close ratio to each other and have them up as high as possible. So you guys, you're looking like you are moving up on the numbers here. Um, you can definitely do better on your DR. Your UR obviously as well. Um, you know that's going to have a lot to do with your backlinks. So a backlink is going to be uh, anything linking back to your site, uh, whether you know from an outside source, whether it be another website um, or maybe a comment blog about you know real estate or houses or anything like that. The goal is here you want to get powerful referring domains pushing that power back to you guys. So. You want referring domains giving you backlinks that are you know, relevant to your service industry. You don't want random websites linking back to you because um, that could potentially come across as spammy in Google's eyes and it's going to hurt your numbers. It's going to affect your ability to rank on the Google search results as well. So um, you guys have 300 backlinks coming from 35 referring domains that you're being found for 72 um, organic keywords and you are getting some traffic, which is great. Um, so we're going to take a look at that other site that was showing up. Um, we can see their UR and DR much uh, higher and much you know closer to each other in, in ratio. Also, a ton of backlinks. They're getting a lot of traffic. A lot of stuff's going on with that website. I think they are a, you know, a pretty big company. I think they're more of a national company. Still, same rules ap apply. Um, you know, you can see that they are being found for 144,000 keywords. You know, this is why I stress the importance of having content on your homepage. That 1500 words, um, you know, you, it allows you to put some really good buyer intent keywords in. So it allows you to be found more often on Google searches. Um, so that's definitely going to bump you up on the rankings and you're going to see more um, business come from that. So that is all I have for you guys. Um, these tips I hope were informative and I hope they were helpful. You can definitely take these tips and use them and implement them yourselves. So um, just to recap real quick, 1500 words of content on your homepage. Uh, it gives you plenty of room to put those buyer intent keywords in there. Um, your Google business profile, have it filled out as much and as accurately as possible with all your business info and then put that information into online directories and then go out and get some really good, powerful backlinks linking back to you from domains that or websites that are relevant to you know your service industry. Once all three of those things start clicking together, you will see a lot of movement. You'll see your website start to show up on more of those uh, organic search results at the top and on the front page. You'll see your Google business profile show up in that top three map pack more often. You know, and you'll start getting more phone calls or start seeing more business coming in, more traffic flow to your website. You know, that's the goal that we are after. You know, we want to get our clients as much business as possible using their online presence. So I hope this video was helpful for you guys. Um, you know, like I said, you can implement these tips yourself or you can always reach out to us as well for more information. I will link our contact info in this video as well as the email I send out to you guys. Uh, once again, thank you for checking out this video. I really appreciate you guys taking the time to look at it and have yourself a wonderful rest of your day.